All right, it's Dan and Nate back for a video. It's been a while. Nate's been out uh, in Colorado living it up in the mountains. So we're going to take a look at this 2017 Chinese uh, people... sausage fried rice. Sausage fried rice. Mm. Okay. So Nate's pretty excited for this. He likes these things. I'm a little nervous, but we'll take a look and see uh, what we got going on here. There's something does... about retort rice that I really enjoy. Is it better than the U.S. Army rice? Because that stuff's terrible in the MRE. Well, at least I remember it being terrible. Let's see. We got a spoon and a napkin. We got, uh, well, Nate might have to Google Translate. So one of them I think is spicy cabbage, and I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay. Let's see. That's the main entree. We got another little packet, some other packets here. A tiny little, like, heater bag, maybe? Sure. Oh, that's the measuring cup. Oh, okay. That's neat. And then it comes, the main, looks like it comes, or the heater's, like, in this insulated pack. That's a pretty, I and mean, that's a hefty. It's a dual heater. Okay. So uh, there's, a, there's a stack on each side. Okay. Then, yeah, they use this as an insulation. Yeah, that thing's pretty It hefty. works well, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this is this is just the sports drink, I guess you could say. And this, I'm assuming, is uh, oh yeah, this is the spicy sauce for the uh, rice. Oh, we got one other thing here. I don't I don't think this is correct, but apparently this is sugar pineapple. Okay, so maybe so, it's some so, some sort of dried fruit. Something maybe. pineapple really. Ooh, I I wonder if this is the. Retort egg roll. Uh, beef omelet. Oh, maybe it is. I, yeah, that. It may be some, some sort kind of. Kind of, yeah, kind of. Like Google translates, you know, depending on the languages. Oh, this is like a pound cake. Durable storage cake. Storage cake. I don't really think that's a, a good translation, but uh, yeah. I'd imagine it's some sort of pound cake. Yes. Okay, so. I guess we'll uh, we'll get this going because this is going to take a little bit for the rice to okay. complete. So you use that little measuring cup? Yeah. So this is the actual like fill line. Okay. Well, I got. Uh, I don't know. This, the Chinese would probably be upset that we're using this U.S. two quart. They'll here, get over it. But you know, they, oh they've probably counterfeited a version of this anyway, like they do everything. Uh, you can actually get the uh, a little bit more. Yeah. That's good. Okay. You can. Oh, it's a little, little too much, but that's oh. okay. You can get the like old school PLA uh, water bottles on eBay. Oh. There's a guy that's got like a crazy amount of like OG Chinese army um, That'd be pretty memorabilia. Cool. I actually don't have any Chinese. Well, we don't army. have a reason to, you know, America. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, oops. I, think, uh, I guess I'll do a little more. Okay. And then I like to... Oh, this ripped a little bit. Or no, it didn't. I like to kind of rock it back and forth. Get it going. Yeah, so the heater's covered. Do we need a, don't we need a rock or something? Do I don't... Do the against? Chinese do that? I, I think know. that's just the U.S. for <laughs> a rock or something. <laughs> I guess we could use this uh, TNT stuff if we wanted to. This one's not reacting as fast as the one I got a, a couple days ago. It's older, what? Right? Yeah, it's three going on four years old, probably, so... Oh, uh, it's all right. It's turned up. It just takes a little bit. And I may have put a little too much water in there. Yeah, it's going now. Okay. Is this our rock? Yeah, this could be okay. our rock or something. <laughs> all right, so that's heating up. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we can get the storage cake. Yep. Sugar pineapple and uh, meat pocket. Meat, yeah, the meat, the meat pocket. Yeah. I guess we could use that to like just put something on. Let's tear this thing open and see what it looks like. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a. I yeah. It's I think an, I think I think it is like an. These egg are roll. yeah. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be like shelf stable egg rolls. That's. Uh, that's interesting. We'll let Nate dive into that. He, have Hello. you had the egg roll before? I did in the like. Remember that emergency one we yeah. did, the the smaller one. It had one, and it was actually not bad. It's a really like. I guess I could bring it up. 
It's slimy. It's like pr kind of slimy. I'm sure that. Yeah, it does. It's kind of. It, it kind of looks like an egg roll. I have a. There's a uh, mess kit knife if you need the. Oh, it kind of fell apart. Oh, it's two pieces. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it's meant to be like kind of split in half. So yeah, you can kind of see the meat. Yeah. I suppose I'll take a uh, bite of it. Why not? Who knows what's in this? But. Oh. It kind of tastes like pate, really. Yeah, or like spam wrapped in some sort of cheap breading. That's what it reminds me of. I mean, it's not horrible. I could eat it if I was hungry enough. I mean, I'm going to eat it right now. I think this is great. It really is what it tastes like. It tastes like spam. The the outer coating, I don't know that really has a flavor. No, I think that's more to just hold it together. Yeah. Yep. It's definitely not as good as, you know, a fresh egg roll, but... Considering it's out of a shelf-stable package. It is like a hot pocket of Spam. Yeah, that's a good description of it. So, let's see. We said we had a... What was this? This was some sort of cake. This is... I'm sorry, I'm oh. with my mouthful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess we'll see what we got going on with this cake. Yeah, this should be like a pound cake. Oh, yep. It looks, it looks a lot like... Let's see. A... Uh, a U.S. Army oh, wow. pound Gla cake. Glaze and all. Yeah. yeah, that's very similar. I'll let you dive into that one first. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Use our it's got like a good brown hint to it, or tint to it. Now, this is a Yugoslavian mess kit, so it is communist. So the Chinese, I think, would be okay with uh, us using that. Hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty good, surprisingly. That's like really fine. Okay. It's got a really slimy outside, too. It is. It's like a weird sheen on the... It's like a sealant. <laughs> this tastes like, uh... It's like a vanilla. Yeah. Like a vanilla nut roll. It kind of reminds me of those, uh... Power bars. Yeah. That, now that's it tastes actually like a good. vanilla power bar. Yeah. I would eat that. <clears throat> it's not very dry, either. No. Surprisingly moist. This, this is reminiscent of, like, what we'd find in a U.S. MRE. A little so that better. Part is surprisingly satisfying. It's a little better, mm -hmm. actually. Hmm. It's just funny the coating. Yeah, it's, it it, does, it reminds me of those fudge bars in the old MREs. Well, so, if you want to check into the pineapple. Yeah, I'm curious what we'll find in the. Uh, I don't really know how much of that I'll eat. It feels. I think it, it feels liquidy. I think we're gonna need uh, maybe something else to put it in because it feels. Like it's got a, uh, that's some nice water. I'm going to take this and uh, wipe off the bottom of it. And we'll uh, put this pineapple, some sort of liquidy pineapple. Oh, oh it's oh. like juice. What the heck? Oh, it is. It's just, it's just pieces of pineapple. Preserved. You get uh, four chunks of pineapple and some juice. So basically, oh, wonder, one ring of pineapple that they cut up. I wonder if that's just like sh like a glucose. You yeah, know, I think like it's probably sugary. Just, yeah, just give you a little sugar base in there. Yeah, I guess I'll try one. Yeah, yeah. It's pineapple. I'm sure it won't hurt me. Yeah, it's just pineapple. It smells a little weird. Oh, how is it? It smells a little weird. Doesn't really taste like pineapple. Okay, so we're going to pass on the pineapple. Kind of looks strange. Oh, and that's our no. I don't feel like swallowing that. Um, that tastes really weird. Yeah. It's like, it's like a dry... I wouldn't even say dried out pineapple, because dried out pineapples still Sweet. smell and taste like pineapple. Yeah, there's something off about that. So we'll pass on the... Uh, it's kind of bland. Chinese pineapple. So, I guess for now... So we had, a, so we had a sports drink, sports drink, and then the sauce, which we're just we'll put on gonna it. add to the right. Okay, well, let's yeah. get a cup out and we'll uh, make the sports drink. It didn't really have a good translation. It said like body drink. So okay, so yeah, I, it's probably like I'd a powerade type deal. Yeah, it's that's like, a freshly cleaned cup. Some sort of energy refill kind of thing. Oh, kind of looks like cocaine. <laughs> it's like really fine. Yeah, it is white. really fine white. Maybe it is. See, that's what it's, uh, you know, amphetamines get the Chinese hopped up. 
<laughs> Wait, is this where we, we poured the pineapple into this? No, no. Well, that was a, that was the pot. So now that's a clean cup. It just has a little water. But I just, oh, I just oh. washed it a bit ago. <laughs> okay. no. I was like, all right, I don't want to no, add no, this no. to the pineapple. The pineapple was in the pot. I took that out. We'll wash that before any further use. I wonder what it smells like. Oh, I got. Oh. Oh wow. Uh, hmm. it's like a. Ooh, that's foul. Pungy it, orange. It's like musty. It's, you, you know, it smells like, like, um, like medicine almost. Like if you got one yeah, of those not orange natural. flavored, yeah. like. Have you ever had those goodies, Tylenol things that are like you pour in a bottle of water? It's kind no. of, it's, it smells like that. Now the question is, do you use that measuring cup or how much water do you add? Oh, I guess I should have. I don't know. I guess we'll just add some. I mean, I'm going to try it and drink some. It's a little. I don't know how uh, drink, drinkable this will be. Um, considering how it smells, I'm going to say... But that's probably a little strange. Does it smell any better reconstituted? No. <laughs> no, not no, not really. Ooh. Uh, it smells citrusy, but also it's like a really musty citrus. It's like a commercial like citrus cleaner smell. Yes. Like pine salt, but like oh, God, watered, I don't want to try it. Watered down. I'll try it. All right, mate. It's like watered down pine salt. Yeah, that, it does almost smell like pine salt. Let's take a sip. Don't don't die. Oh, oh, <laughs> it tastes like. All right, let me go in for more. Gotta get a better assessment. It just tastes so weird. Like there's not much lemon in it. It tastes like. Like a fatty oil, oh. you, like you know what I mean. Like yeah. it, it does not really so, feel like water. So what we've determined so far is that what's good out of this is the pound cake, and the egg roll is edible. Pound oh, the cake egg roll was good. I like the egg roll. Yeah, the uh, the pound cake was good. I mean, I thought Pank, it was, yeah. I could eat that. Pound so, cake was really good. So I guess we'll. Uh, we're waiting on the uh, main here. Yeah, I need to. I need to try to find someone that can get the green. I forget what the green stands for, like navy or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> the, well, these are really good. Yeah. The brown ones are good too. The I think those are just the normal ones, but but yeah. like these seem to have more. Uh, yeah, we reviewed know, one of the brown ones, which was I think it was back here actually. Yeah. This is like. Oh, a, that's that's the emergency yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. So well, quote unquote emergency. This is like a yeah. They're like iron ration basically. Yeah. It's just processed food bars. So. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna let this thing finish heating up, and then we'll be back in a minute. All right. So this thing should be ready to go. I guess I'll let Nate do the honors since I know he's ready to dive into this thing. Actually, I think. I think you should let this keep going. Keep going a little longer? Yeah. All right. Yep. We'll give it another minute then. All right. We're back for real this time. I think this thing's finally ready to go. I think it's heated up. It's, this, this, these things get really hot to begin with, so like it's, sometimes it's kind of hard to gauge when the heater itself is done reacting. However, it does leave a like weird white phosphorus uh, coating. Like yeah. Little, yeah. Little so I usually try to wipe that off before we open it. Do these have the? Yeah, they do. Yeah, you don't want that like on your getting inside your food. I'm sure. Yeah, like, you could probably see it as it dries, but yeah, this is really hot. Okay, we'll set that out of the way there. Yeah, actually, you can see it now. Oh, all right. It's just, like a really, it's kind of sketchy. <laughs> I just kind of wipe it away. It probably doesn't actually matter. But. So what are these running on? You said you bought one of these recently. I bought one, so I get. Uh, it's actually really hard to find these now, uh, with the USDA cracking down because you know there's nothing else better to do. Uh, and there was like one guy that was selling the actual, you know, full menu item and not the emergency ones. Mm. And I think I paid shipped. Now oh, this is really hot. Uh, shipped was like, 
You can use the knife. Maybe 40 bucks, I think. Okay. That's Which is terrible. really not bad, seeing as it came from Hong Kong. So it's really not a bad price. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So just slide right out. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting how they, like... The things the government decides to crack down on. Huh? Well, I guess you can use the official Chinese spoon there. Some pork oh, fried rice. Oh, uh, what is this? Is that a piece of pork sausage, I'm guessing? Looks like a cockroach. <laughs> like a cut up cockroach. It's a little piece of sausage, I think. But yeah. <laughs> well, you never know. It could be a cockroach. That's weird. That does Do not... they eat bugs over there? Like fried bugs and stuff? Oh, yeah. you, ever you gotta watch... do what you gotta do, yeah. <laughs> you ever watch Top Gear or Grand Tour? They, uh, when they're over in Asia, they're usually eating bugs. That's so, wild. Yeah. I'd probably try one. I'm gonna, I guess I'll eat a piece of that weird meat with a little mm -hmm. bit of rice before I put that sauce on there. Oh, yeah. Here it's heated up, but it's still, like, kind of a blob. Yeah, and this is from 2017, so I, I, hopefully it's still good. I don't know what the shelf life on these are. Look, I imagine it's similar to a USMRE. Oh, <laughs> The meat just tastes like gelatin. Oh, God. I mean, it's, it's just kind of like a blob. It's uh, probably not high quality. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it held up. I wonder... Oh. Here's your chili sauce. That looks all right, I guess. Kind of reminds me of that stuff. Oh, you... dude, this smells like hoisin sauce. This smells... It does not smell like chili sauce. Mm, it smells good, though. I'm gonna just. It's like a soy, spicy soy sauce. Um, how it smells. Before like. I pour all of it, on you here. see how hot it is. It might be. Asians do in general. Asian food. Hot food, yeah. They like it hot, depending on where. Hmm. Kind of tastes like oil. It so did, it did seem a little oily. It's a little. Maybe it's got like soy bean oil. It's not or hot. Something. It's not that hot. It's not that hot. All right. I can put it on here. It's not like fish oil though. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think it could be that too. It does kind of look like straight up poison right now though. As I'm mm -hmm. dumping it on here. Trying to get every last bit. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it's. I guess I will take a little taste it's of it. It's kind of oily. See what this rice is about. It's very like gelatinous, but it's it's really not much different than the USMRE rice, where it's just kind of like a blob. <clears throat> I mean, retort rice is just generally kind of. You know, that's actually not half bad with that sauce on it. I'm not gonna lie. It's good without it. It's just kind of bland, but mm -hmm. with it, it's actually pretty good. It's not bad. Overall, I'm not. I think I'm somewhat. You know, surprised at this ration. Other than the drink, the drink yeah, the drink uh, sucks. Is not good. Um, Maybe sucks is a bad word, but it's just it has a weird off-putting smell to it. It's just a kind of a big letdown. Yeah. And like most of it mixed. It did, yeah. So it's, I don't think we had too much water, and I probably added about eight ounces of water. It's probably about right, but it just tastes weird. Everything else though would be uh, totally edible. In a field situation, so I really like the the Chinese rations. Like I think, I think they have good like flavor options. I yeah. guess I would take it over some of the uh, some of the other foreign rations we've had. Yeah, you know, oh. overall it's pretty good. So I guess that concludes this Chinese PLA pork fried rice, and uh, we'll be back here with some other videos. Hope you enjoyed this review comments below and if you enjoy what you see please subscribe